Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk with you about a few beauty products that I have absolutely not been able to put down in 2018. Uh, and I'll just jump right into it and start off with what I'm actually wearing on my face right now. And it's the Becca Skin Love Foundation and my shade is Sienna. Uh, and I started wearing this in the summer uh, and it is now winter so I'm able to wear it all year round. It's a medium, medium-ish coverage foundation. Um, I suppose you can build it to full coverage, but once you use it, you'll quickly notice that that is not what it's for. Um, and it's called Skin Love for a reason. It, it looks so much like your natural skin, uh, and it just blends in so effortlessly. It's infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Complex. Fine. I, I don't know what that means, but fine. Uh, I'm willing to say that this does give you a very natural glow. And I'm like halfway done with this already. And I can't remember a time where I almost finished a foundation so quickly. So I am totally loving um, Becca Skin Love Foundation. And it's a total repurchase. Maybe even a forever repurchase because... I mean, I just, I can't stop reaching for it. I think I wear it three times a week. Uh, and the other foundation that I have been wearing three or four times a week has been the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This foundation is giving my Holy Grail foundation a run for its money. It's described as a uh, full coverage foundation, but I would say it's more medium to full coverage. It's medium coverage, but it can be built to full coverage. It's got SPF 15 in it, uh, although I do recommend you wear your sunscreen anyway underneath. Um, my shade is Cool Walnut, and I first came across this foundation as a sample from Nordstrom, a very massive sample. I think it took me over a month I think I even still have some of that sample left, and I chose Cool Almond, but it was a little bit too light for me. I was able to make it work with a setting powder, but I noticed the formula was just out of this world. I recently wrote a review on this foundation, and I've been wearing it for months, many months, um, and finally got around to reviewing it, and the thing that stood out the most to me was you don't need powder to set this foundation. You don't need to blot your face uh, midday. I have oily skin, so I almost always need to do those things by midday. I would say like one o'clock. My skin starts breaking out in the oils. Um, this foundation, there's none of that. There's none of that. It only gets better as you go throughout the day. Uh, and because it doesn't need to be set with setting powder, your face doesn't look super matte. And it just, it's, I don't say it's weightless. I mean, I still feel like I'm wearing foundation and a little bit goes a long way. Um, but it is wonderful and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, between this foundation and the Becca foundation, no real other foundation has been getting any play from me. The, and the only reason I would use a different foundation at this point is because I feel like I'm neglecting them and I've already spent my money on it. So it's like, eh, I need to like use my other stuff. But these two are amazing. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend you try them, especially if you have oily skin. Next, um, I'll talk about a powder, actually, that I have not been able to put down this year. I wrote a glowing review about it a while back, but it's still super relevant, and it's actually super cheap. It's the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, and usually my go-to is Ben Nye. That's like no one has been able to compete with the finish it gives my skin, but the Essence Brighten Up Powder... Uh, it looks a tad more natural. You don't have to pack it up under your eyes like I do the Ben Nye. I just kind of sweep it with a brush and it, it brightens up my eyes. It literally brightens up my eyes. 
And that leads me to another powder that I want to talk about, which is actually a recent purchase. So I'm not sure that it totally belongs in this video, but I've been using it every single time that I've been wearing makeup. And it's the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. And I bought the little travel size version because I was afraid that it was going to be too white for my skin tone. It's amazing. It's phenomenal. If you have the Hourglass Ambient Palette and you use dim light to set underneath your eyes, this is better. I highly recommend this powder for women of color, anybody, dark skin, light skin, anything. This powder is just phenomenal. The next two things I'd like to share with you are eyeshadow products. And the first one blew my mind because I have oily eyelids and it was the first time I did not need a primer and it lasted all day. I remember going on my Instagram story showing everyone like I cannot believe it's like three o'clock or whatever time it was and there was no creasing. Um, and it is the Huda Beauty uh, Mauve Obsessions Palette. And it is a mauve colored palette and it's got some reddish berry pink shades and they're really beautiful. I'll link to the review in my um, information box below. Highly recommend it. The only other thing I'll say is that I purchase the Smoky Obsessions after using this one thinking that they would all be like that. They're not. Um, that one I had uh, I didn't have the same experience with, but the Mauve Obsessions palette is phenomenal. Uh, and I'm willing to pick up a few more of the other, other like color palettes. Like there's a green one, there's a blue one, there's like a purple one. And I think the Jules one is actually um, on sale at Sephora right now. But Huda Beauty Mauve's favorite in 2018. Could not put it down, went in my bag with me everywhere. Still using it strong to this day. The next thing is another eyeshadow palette and I was actually really good about not buying so many eyeshadow palettes this year. And the Huda Beauty Mauves and this other one I'm about to show you is two of the three palettes that I actually purchased for myself this year. Just kidding, I bought four. Um, the other was the Pat McGrath um, Bronze Ambition Mothership Palette. But this one is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. And I was on the fence about even buying this palette for so long. Here's the shades in there. And I knew I could use every single color in this palette. And that's what I actually end up doing. And there was a time, like a month, where I just would not put this palette down. And I was like, okay, you need to actually use other eyeshadows. But high joy. Um, it was 50 bucks or something like that. Um, highly recommended. I did not... Um, buy any of her other palettes prior to this coming out. So this was my first Fenty Beauty palette and it won't be my last. So the next product is actually something for your nails. And it's not something that came out in 2018, but it's something that I've been using consistently, but I've never sort of singled out. Um, and it's the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel um, Top Coat. And I initially bought this with a grayish shade in the same um, sort of line, but I noticed that when I use regular nail polish and put this on top, it lasts at least twice as long on my nails. And, you know, regular nail polish doesn't really last that long on my nails um, to begin with, so it was much easier for me to see how well this was working because I noticed like my nails weren't chipping. I was like washing pots and pans and my nails weren't chipping. and was like spraying bleach on the countertops and wiping and my nails weren't chipping. And I was like, holy smokes, this stuff is great. A little trick that I learned to do with this, I have like a little nightstand. It's not really a, 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 a real lamp for a nightstand because it's got one of those UV lights, but, um, I paint my nails, put this on top, and just kind of put my hand in front of it to sort of let it dry faster. And it, it does, and it just lasts so much longer than regular nail polish. So, highly recommended nail product. 
Um, I wasn't consistent enough with any particular nail color this year to include in this video, um, but the shade that I'm wearing on my nails now is from Zoya, which I find they have nail polish superior in formula to any other nail polish out there, like regular nail polish. It's called Zoya Kennedy, and I just think it's a wonderful shade um, for dark skin. The next thing I want to talk about is a concealer, and it's not a new concealer. It's new to me this year, um, and prior to using this, I was on Laura Mercier's uh, Flawless, Flawless Fusion Concealer. I was using that concealer as a, a spot treatment foundation and also a concealer under my eyes, shade 6N and 6W. And then I got the idea that I wanted to compare it to the NARS Radiant Creamy uh, Foundation. And this concealer has been around for a long time. I called it foundation, I meant concealer. Uh, but it was my first time trying it. Uh, and this is Hazelnut. And the shade Hazelnut comes off like this on me. And it's just perfect for underneath my eyes, um, just kind of concealing my eye bags. Um, and so I've not been able to put this down this year. Most people probably already have this, so I feel like maybe I'm preaching to the choir, but I really, really loved reconnecting with this concealer. So NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Hazelnut is my shade. Six more products to go, hang in there with me. Um, one of them that I'll talk about is a hair product, and it is the Beach Waver. Now, I've had this for a couple years. I got it as a Christmas present, um, and it is the S1, uh, one for the one-inch barrel. And it's the curling iron that kind of um, revolves once you press this button and gives you beautiful beach waves, or it gives you big beach, like big waves, or like Shirley Temple like curls. Um, and I just discovered so many different hairstyles with this that this is like one of the best hair tools I've ever owned. So highly recommend this beach waver tool. Again, this is the one inch barrel. And I was using it on my extensions, which were way longer than my natural hair. But I also use this on my own hair also. And it's just beautiful. And the curls last a long time. The next product I want to talk about is the Clinique Chubby Stick. And this is a very old school product, um, but it's so easy to use that it kind of just lives in my purse. And it gives off some of the best, most natural sort of um, uh, tinted lips. And I'll just show you what that looks like um, on my hand. That's, that's what it looks like uh, and I've just been reaching for this non-stop since I got it and this is actually a little sample that I received uh, from Nordstrom after making a purchase or something like that um, and this is the shade super strawberry so these are just so easy they're super moisturizing and I can't get enough of them uh, the next lip product I want to talk about is one that was surprising to me. I was really surprised that I liked it. And it's the Pat McGrath uh, Lip Fetish Astral Lip Balm. And this one is the shade Pink. And it's got like glitters in it. Very small sort of sophisticated glitters. And I was really surprised I liked this because I don't really like metallics or like glitters on my lips for like going out but this one was very well done um and it doesn't actually look pink on me it's like more purple and it kind of flashes blue i know it's really strange describing it but it's moisturizing on its own i did review it on my blog so i'll also link to it down below and i'll show you what that looks like just right next to the um the clinique chubby stick can see right here I've swatched it uh, on my actual lips it kind of flashes bluish purple but um, I could not put this down as soon as I got it uh, and 2018 has been the year of Pat McGrath let me tell you I did purchase her palette I mentioned earlier I'm still forming an opinion 
on that and I kind of feel like I'm kind of pushing myself to love it because um, it was $125 um, but I think I just need to play with it a little bit more because there's a lot of glitter going on in it and I knew that going in so I should not hold it against the palette but this however I did love so that's the lip fetish lip balm in astral pink now this product is probably my most coveted of the year uh, and I didn't actually buy it the first time I saw it and it is the Dior Rouge uh, blush in the shade 999 and it's just this beautiful sort of red shade and I've gotten like foundation on it but it it also has like flashes of gold and I'm actually wearing it today I'll just zoom in and show you I just really love how this looks on my skin and you can build it up to full coverage it can be lightly applied I kind of like to go the uh, medium route with it just because I just find it so beautiful so yeah that's the Dior Rouge blush in the shade 999 Two more products to go and the first I'll talk about is a brow product and it's from Kat Von D and it's her brow pomade. I bought this early this year and uh, when I was first trying it out I was like oh it's super pigmented. I don't know how I'm gonna you know deal with this but I think after one or two tries I really got the hang of it and I just loved it. I mean I'm using uh, I'm usually using um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow like everybody else. Um, but this, I mean, just kind of retired my Dip Brow for some time. And this is the shade Granite. Um, it's pretty gross inside, but I'll show you anyway. Like, I've barely made a dent in here. And, you know, brow pomades last a long time anyway. Uh, but... <sighs> As pigmented as this is, I cannot see me ever really running out of this. Um, I will say that as time goes on, it's not as creamy as it is uh, when you first start using it. Um, even if you like keep it tightly sealed, it still sort of dries out a little bit, but that just makes it way easier to use. So um, yeah, keep the cap on. If you haven't tried it already, give it a try. They've got this in so many different colors, even like purples and reds if you want to get really creative with it. But yeah, this put like all of my other brow products kind of just out of commission for a long time. Last product I want to talk about is a mascara and it's from Lancome and it's Monster Big. I spoke about this mascara before. I mean, I'm talking about it all the time on Instagram and on my blog. It's just fantastic. It's really black. I think there are two shades in this, but I obviously got the black one because my hairs are black. Um, and what surprised me about it is the brush. I'm not really one for brushes that don't actually like have combs in them because my lashes are naturally... Uh, curly so usually I just want to kind of spread them out and give them some volume and some depth so that's kind of what I look for in a mascara this has taken the place of pretty much every other mascara that is my 2018 favorites uh, in makeup and just beauty products that I just could not put down this year so let me know what you guys think if you've tried any of these products or if you think that I should try something that you've discovered this year. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who's continued to watch me during my sort of ups and downs on YouTube. And I hope to see you really soon.